Doing, folks welcome back to the channel and who would have thought I'd ever be riding the Pan Am in a suit <laughs> I've no forward camera today because I'm on my way to uh, into moto uh, to pick up my long ride Royal Enfield Continental GT 650 to ride in the distinguished gentleman's ride uh, so it's been about a 40 minute ride from my house to get to there, We're currently 6 minutes away to pick up the bike and meet the other riders and take part in the Warrington DJR ride uh, that finishes off at Jodrell Bank uh, Cafe. So guys we will see you uh, into Moto and uh, show you the bikes and the setup there before we go on the ride. It's going to be an epic day, stay tuned. How you doing, folks? So we are now at Into Moto. There's Andrea, who's organised my bike event today. Yep. Thank you. The keys to, and we'll show you the bike in a minute. That reminds me, I need to drop my other keys and lock that up. So this is probably the first and only time you will see me in a suit. Hang on, Andrea, do me a favour, so I don't have to reverse that. Just grab that a minute. Look How's that, that folks? That. You've never seen me looking so smart. And I'm only half dressed as well. Could yeah, fit the three piece on there, bit of weight for almost the last year's wedding. <laughs> and look at Timo, look at Timo. <laughs> Charlie Bronson. If you're gonna do it, then Charlie you might... Bronson. <laughs> Char Charlie Bronson, oh, he's the cartoon character. Who's the Charles other one? Charles Bronson. No, 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 the cartoon. Char Charlie. Someone, Colin just said, do we do the sour cream and chives Pringles? Still, still, still do the Pringles. So a lot like the Pringles guy. Oh, you do, yeah, yeah, the Pringles guy. Andrea said a lot like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> and nice to see Mark. Just come to give some support. Then where you're on. <laughs> Best mates. I don't know. So let's have a look at the bike, folks. So there she is. So we're just about to uh, get ready on the steeds for the DJR 2023 from Intermoto with the help of the lovely Andrea. Oh, looking dapper, especially Tim. I mean, look at these. Look at these as well. Anyone to think they were specially made just for the ride? So here we go, here's my Steve for today. Royal Enfield Continental GT 650. This is going to be different. Alcamoto on a cafe racer. Here we go. In neutral. Kick stand up. It's going to take a few miles to get used to this little baby. Take a couple of miles to get used to this little baby. So that's the first time I'm going to be in that sort of throw fall position. <laughs> a little bit more relaxed there. <laughs> you look more like the Joker. <laughs> the thing with riding the suit is that you, you, you wear it out, you like you say, you've your pockets and yeah. no zips. I've got my GoPro batteries down here, the phone in that pocket. 
Oh, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. And we're off. Just going to take a couple of miles to get used to this thing. It feels so small, um, but nimble. I can't see nothing out of those mirrors, so I need to sort that out. <laughs> wow. I think you need a prize just for that look today. <laughs> so apparently now there has been a bit of a change because at first, uh, that's a lovely old pub, that. Change from the other route. Uh, there was talk was going on the M56 motorway which isn't really ideal when you're all dressed like we're dressed today wow this thing just feels like you just want to rip it typical cafe racer look and bar set up so you sort of throw them forward but the way I'm feeling now these pegs are absolutely perfect Engine's really smooth. So no self-cancelling indicators, that's uh, one thing for sure, but uh, yeah, that's balance-wise now, just coming to a stop. <laughs> that is so balanced. So we're just riding through uh, Warrington and then heading out, I think, out to Cheshire and then obviously ending up at Jodrell Bank Observatory is it Observatory? Observatory I also can't believe how smooth this engine is especially on the gear change I think for sure Royal Enfield have got that right But how beautifully put together is all this? It, it just doesn't, it, it looks expensive, it doesn't look cheap, it's not just bolted on plastic, it's all lovely finished. Yeah, these pegs are in a perfect position. The way it just throws you forward, you've got your head still facing forward, in that typical look, typical style. But the rider triangle is so comfortable, and I thought at first that I was going to be maybe a little bit squashed on this bike it just feels you no know, small but it's nimble but it's so well balanced we'll soon find out when we get it out on the open roads but we're just waiting for the group to catch up now busy day today another beautiful day here in the UK oh no The strange looks you get. That's the Kamazuki. Beautiful.
Golden Gates, folks. What about that? Look at this. <laughs> what a bike. So, just coming back out now from the Golden Gates, and we're going to head, I think it'll be on the 49 I think we're doing a right here we should be someone's indicating left though yeah we're doing a right and Sarah's doing a little bit of the out riding for us and there's nothing worse than when the light splits the group up what a fantastic day I was always worried about you know but previous ones it always seems to be a good day on the DJR I think someone's shining on us because has there ever been a wet one yet because every picture I've seen over the years have always been sunshine on this ride and you know something it's such a joy to do if it were peeing down obviously you're not going to show off your dapper shit are you you know with your suits and your ties and all that whatnot but I'm loving it like I said it's the first <laughs> first time I thought you know something throw that and I'm not a suit man I thought but I'll throw it on let's do it let's make the effort okay so I've done a few miles on this bike now so I've had a chance just to get to grips with everything on it so not got the speed as much yet but going through the gears it really is smooth take off through the gears and a nice little pull it's not going to pull you off the seat uh, but there's enough torque there just to keep the enjoyment of the ride Yeah, it is enough to make that front end just feel a little bit vague when you throttle on. So that's that's good fun. It's all you need. Brakes wise, not a problem. I'm not going to brake hard now with all the riders behind me, but uh, I'll tell you, I've not had a problem with them so far. The front, when you grab it, you're not grabbing a handful. I don't know whether, I don't think they're connected. I think they're independent. Uh, but the position of the pedals, I said this earlier for the changing gears, is perfect. And even now, just resting slightly over the foot pedal, you're not, some bikes there, when you're resting over the foot pedal, you're in danger of pressing the brake without knowing. But this one, I can comfortably feel that I'm off the brake and I'm not going to press that by accident. It's there when I need it. shifter is just placed perfectly and the balance of this thing coming to a stop is is absolutely just phenomenal it's perfect Beautiful bike. Seat wise now I've been in the saddle for I don't know, a good half an hour or so. Has it been longer? I don't know. I'm enjoying myself that much and can't remember the bloody time, but seat, not a problem. It feels hard, but at the same time the suspension's taking up most of it so at the moment I have got nothing in my arse area that resembles pain so happy with that 
and especially for such a, a position that's thrown you forward in that typical cafe look as well no problems comfortable ride could I ride it all day I do think the only thing is with a sort of thrown forward position like this is you will eventually probably have a problem on the right and I have a little bit of problems on that right and anyway with the uh, aches and pains so I guess if I was on it all day but with a bike like this you're going to stop every half an hour in a lay-by crack open your bottle of coke and enjoy the scenery aren't you for a bit before you jump back on and ride to your next stop so it's not about distance not about touring it's about enjoying the moment and this bike certainly ticks the boxes for that this is the life beautiful residences in the Cheshire countryside green fields the sunshine burning down on your face and a beautiful classic bike to ride these roads what more do you want what more do you want folks a great little group today like I said there's some of the DJ rides have got a lot more in their contingency I think we limited to what was it 30 bikes or something like that it's, it's just perfect to keep everyone just tight and uh, Sarah the outrider again <laughs> they're all looking at you thinking Freddie Mercury's come back alive all the cars are pointing at you going Freddie Mercury's alive <laughs> you know folks again I'm just in a world of my own before I switch the camera back on views like this I know I keep saying this but I'm enjoying this a hell of a lot these roads today have been fantastic blue skies it's just not that hot you've got a really nice cool breeze somewhere around sort of 40, 35, 45 mile an hour and that's all you need on these roads you're not going stupid it's just just so nice relax take everything in and uh, we're closing in now on the final destination of the day at Jodrell Bank Want to stop and let the black through. So I'm getting used to this now. Uh, obviously, not having a self cancel indicator is just notch it in to cancel, but it's not in actually a bad position. At first, I thought it was a little bit awkward, but it's within easy reach to change. So, indicator's okay. Yep, yeah, that clutch is fantastic. It's so, in fact, I'd say that's a lot better than the Panam one because the Panam is quite tight. This is dead smooth. Timo likes to uh, do a bit of showing off for the camera here. Okay, folks, so we're near the destination now. If you can just see the tip of the GoPro in the massive telescope, and that's Jodrell Bank. So we're not far now. A couple of right turns and a left turn, and then we should be home and dry on the uh, outgoing leg of the DJR ride. It's been fantastic, absolutely fantastic, and uh, great set of lads to ride with as well today. And this bike has just been so much fun. Knocks away all the apprehensiveness after about five minutes of riding, but on these roads is where this comes alive. has got you know it's not a massive amount I said this earlier it's not a massive amount of torque but it gets you where you want to go so there's the big telescope 
Uh, here we are at Jod Road Bank. Let's just hope I've got enough life in the bloody GoPro uh, to get us to the car park. I'll leave the indicator on then. Don't know. So all this was redone not long ago and uh, they built a new visitor centre and uh, you know plenty to do for kids and all that. Switch your plane to airplane, uh, switch your phone to airplane mode. So there's a big telescope observatory, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so is this place. The Jodrell Telescope could pick up a phone signal from Mars, so there you go. So we're uh, learning a bit as we go along on the entrance in here. Wisdom begins in wonder. Socrates. Okay. Prepare for docking. When I was working here, when we were rebuilding this, it was a nightmare with this this gate. I had a pass for the works van to keep the barrier going, <laughs> and it used to get, it did do that, and you'd think it was coming down on your work van. <laughs> So there you go folks, that was the ride in the DJR 2023 from Warrington to Jodrell Bank. Okay folks, so we've had a little bit of a break now at Jodrell Bank with the big telescope in the background. It's not actually a telescope, is it? Mr. Purple Rain here, Timo. The grandkids have come as well. Have a wave, Harry. Hello. Thomas, have a wave. Wave for the camera. No, you've gone shy. It's off down some of these fantastic roads now and back to the shop. Photo shoot first though, yeah, through. I'm just wary of everything flying out of my pockets because I've got nothing zipped up, so excuse me folks. But yeah, I never thought on final conclusions of this bike that I'd enjoy it so much on this bike. It's, it's so well put together. That engine is so smooth. Okay, in some comparisons, you might think it's a little bit quiet, but it is smooth with it, silky with it. The gear changes are really smooth. It's been on the button today. And like I said, as a whole of the bike, fit and finish, I think Royal Enfield, I've got it right. If you're thinking about looking for one of these for yourself, then please just go and book a test ride. Go and have a look at one in the showroom and make your own mind up. But as usual, like anything else, you've got to sit on the bike and ride it to make that final conclusion. Would I have one of these in the garage? I think I mentioned it early on. Yes, I would, but not as an only bike, because you know these different styles of riding that I do. But if it's the only bike you need just for dipping out weekend, enjoying yourselves, roads like this, days like this, then this is all you need, folks, all you need. So from myself and Timo, Thanks for watching folks, hope you've enjoyed the ride, DJR 2023, you've been fantastic today, really enjoyed the day and big thanks to Intermoto for supplying the bikes for the ride today, we'll be seeing you guys soon. But on that note, Al Komodo is signing out in his suit, It'll be the first and it'll be the last time you'll probably see me in this suit, uh, but thanks folks, until the next time, we'll see you later, Al Komodo. 
And Timo is signing out. <laughs>